Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, the last video I uploaded was on the Ryan Harper Custom 1 6 scale 2018 head sculpt. That's back here in the background. Absolutely incredible. And thank you for all your amazing feedback in the comments. I mean, I knew this was one of the very best I've ever seen, and you guys confirmed that with your feedback under that video. And in that video, I did say that the next one was more, you know, more than likely going to be the 1978 custom 1-6 scale heads from Ryan Harper, the most recent ones I've received. And I've got to tell you, like it's pretty much the same thing as with the 2018 over there. This has really blown me away. And just the, the rate at which Ryan Harper's skills are just increasing and the accuracy of these sculpts, the incredible work he does with the hair. I mean, he's gone to lengths here with the hair that I've never seen anyone else attempt to do. I mean, you know, originally this was the Don Post Captain Kirk mask back in 1978 and it had a very kind of specific hairstyle where it kind of swept over a little bit to this side and you can see the hair doing that and he's actually gone to the trouble of putting all the horns in already so I don't have to mess around doing that. The actual shape of the mask itself is pretty much dead on balls accurate. The shape of the eye holes, incredibly well done. The really nice depth to the eyes so that they're not very obvious. I mean, I have got the lights coming from above. There's nothing shining directly in his face. But let me just do that now, and you can see how well the eyes are actually painted. Really, really sharp, great paintwork on those. But then as soon as you just take the light away from the front of his face, and you get this incredibly accurate look. Just like with the 2018 mask video, I'm going to take this head sculpt and just put it on the Trick or Treat Studios 1-6 scale figure setup because I know a lot of you have that. And the one I'll be using tonight is exactly that. It's the Trick or Treat Studios body, t-shirt and coveralls, but these are the ones that I've modified to have the bullet holes uh, from the end of the movie where he gets shot off the balcony. So you will be seeing the bullet holes in this video just because that's the way it's worked out. But incredible work here from Ryan. I can't stress that enough. Really looking forward to bringing you the Dick Warlock Halloween 2 sculpt video that's going to be coming up after this one. But just like with the 2018 video, light up the comments section. Let me know your thoughts. I want to know your opinions on this sculpt. What do you think of it? Be curious to hear from you. And yeah, let's get started. Now, before I do take this head sculpt off this current setup and put it on the Trick or Treat Studios 78 setup, I just have to show you this because the proportions, everything from the boots up to the head, everything just looks seriously on point right now. Now those are the Yunso coveralls that I dyed navy blue, so there's no confusion there. The collar is sitting perfectly. Notice the, uh, the kind of cuffs of the coveralls around your hands there coming to the exact point they should nice wrinkles in the legs just looks really natural very real almost looks like when he kind of steps out from behind the hedge obviously Ryan Harper's amazing new sculpt with the hair work is helping the things look as awesome as they do right now Just so you know, it seems to be the way with all of Ryan Harper's heads recently, you've got that kind of connection point in there where if you have the connector, it will just click in. I mean, it doesn't necessarily, like you won't hear a pop or anything, but it is designed to go on there and sit very securely while still allowing you to do all your poses and stuff. So that just comes off there. That's very nicely done. All right, so time to switch to the uh, bullet hole ridden tots setup. However, that does not have one of those uh, connectors. So I might just put a bit of blue tack on just to show you how it looks at least because I don't know, I don't want to go pulling that one out. All right, now there is the head sculpt on the Trick or Treat Studios setup, body, coveralls, hands, knife, all Trick or Treat Studios. However, like I said, have added the bullet holes and the blood this particular pair 
of coveralls. And don't forget, like I said, I've got two 78 sculpts here. So this is the other one. Uh, I was about to say this is my favorite, that's why I keep showing it to you, but then I looked down here just now and saw that and thought, hang on a minute, that's also equally as awesome. So <laughs> I'll try this head as well. Just go ahead and do that now. I oh, mind you, there's some blue tack up in here. So I might sit a little bit low without any blue tack. Oh wait, have I got blue tack in there? Oh, I have already. Okay, that's the other head. Also looks fantastic. Excellent work with the hair as usual. The horns. Horn action. There you go. So. Two heads. Alright, check it out as it comes round on the rotating base. Just give you some full body shots of that. Looks to be in really good proportion with the tot setup. Now I'll switch it to the other head sculpt that we started with. Let's see how that looks on the Redeem base. Let's just let this guy come around one more time and get low. Yeah, it looks good. Alright, and on to the head that we started with. Let's see as it comes around here. Yeah, I just think there's just something about this one that I prefer a touch more. Look at that. Oh yeah. yeah this one is incredible. It's got the hair at the back as well. It's really well done. That sight profile was seriously dead on. Right, folks now I'm going to put both heads individually on the rotating base maybe at the end I'll put them both on at the same time but I wanted to really focus on each one and give it its moment on the rotating base here incredible side profiles on these heads they look incredible from the front or from the skew or from side profile or even from the back as you can see here because of how well the hair you know it's been thought out and put on there correctly you've got that kind of Don Post Captain Kirk kind of swoosh at the top and then the horns which gave the shape that kind of, you know, implied that he was the devil at times. <laughs> I'm, you know, just kidding, but those horns on the side of the hair, like little devil horns. But just incredibly well sculpted. Eye holes have been sculpted just right. Great work on the eyebrows, the way the nose kind of slightly points up, and the lips. And I only just noticed literally in the last few minutes I never thought about it before but neither one of these head sculpts have the puncture wound in the neck so this is obviously from earlier on in the film which is cool because they both both of these head sculpts probably because of the way the hair has been styled definitely reminds me of the moment where he's standing by the hedge in the daylight and when he's standing by the uh, the bed sheets blowing in the uh, in the back garden there but just even there the line from where the sideburns were ripped off. Very hard to get all this right. I mean, you can get a couple of them, a couple of the key features right, and then maybe not quite hit it on point with the other ones, but this has all come together. Like, really, really, really well done. So let me swap out now to the other head sculpt. Uh, I think I really am having trouble deciding which one's my favorite. I guess I'll just have to let you guys know that at a later date because right now I'm loving both of them pretty much equally. This one's got some really nice skin tone around the back of the neck and then under the chin. The eye holes, the way they've been sculpted here. That seems pretty much perfect with the cheekbones and the ears shape. Everything. He's certainly done his homework, Mr. Harper. 
Excellent work, man. Really, really, really impressed. All right, so now I'll just I'll put the other one on there too. There's both heads. focus up a little bit better for you. Okay. All right, folks, that's the end of another video. It's been an absolute pleasure sharing this stuff with you guys and just giving you my thoughts on Ryan Harper's latest works. The 2018 in the background there is still my favorite out of everything I received recently. And the next video I will bring you will be the final head sculpt, and that's the Dick Warlock Halloween 2 custom 1-6 scale head from Ryan Harper. But these 78s and that 2018 are absolutely bloody incredible, honestly. So I highly recommend following the link underneath this video in the description. I take you to Ryan Harper's Instagram page. You can send him a DM and inquire about getting one of these heads, or two of these heads, or three of these heads. He'll make it as many as you want. You know, just give him a minute. He's got a list of people now. He's getting pretty in demand, and you can see why. His work on these head sculpts is probably some of the best I've ever seen in my life. And that is no, that's no BS. That's true speak, real talk. I mean, he's absolutely killed it with the 2018. You can see that. The 1978, that's a hard thing to capture. He did it twice. Yeah, once, twice. The guy's got mad skills. But I hope you enjoyed this video, folks, and I'll bring you more soon. Keep an eye out for the Halloween 2 head sculpt video coming up real soon. If you enjoyed this one, drop a like on it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Plenty of content. If you're new, there's about 13 years worth of videos to catch up on. And check out Ryan Harper. He does amazing work, as you can see. Thanks for watching, folks. See you soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.